It was right here in this room two weeks ago today that you took the oath of office for the second time to begin your second term. So let me ask you about the next four years. You have just raised tax rates on families that make more than $450,000 a year and above. Right. Are you through raising tax rates? Well, I, I don't think the issue right now is raising rates. The question is, if we're going to be serious about reducing our deficit, can we combine some smart spending cuts, because there's still some waste in government? Can we reform uh, our health care programs in particular, because we spend a lot more on health care than every other country does, and we don't get better outcomes. So there's a lot of waste in the system, and uh, there are things that we can do to reduce health care costs. And can we close some loopholes and deductions that folks who are well-connected and have a lot of accountants and lawyers can take advantage of, so they end up paying lower rates than uh, you know, a bus driver or a cop? Uh, can we close some of those loopholes? If you combine those things together, then we can not only reduce our deficit, but we can continue to invest in things like education and research and development that are going to help us grow. Without raising rates again. Without raising rates again. So I'm not hearing you say, read my lips, no new taxes. You think there is going to have to be additional revenue over the next four years? There is no doubt we need additional revenue coupled with smart spending reductions in order to bring down our deficit. And we can do it in a gradual way so that it doesn't have a huge impact. And as I said, when you look at some of these deductions that certain folks are able to take advantage of, the average person can't take advantage of them. The average person doesn't have access to Cayman Island accounts. The average person doesn't uh, have access to uh, carried interest income where they end up paying a much lower rate uh, on billions of dollars that they've earned. And so we just want to make sure that the whole system is fair, that it's transparent, and that we're reducing our deficit in a way that doesn't hamper growth reduce uh, the kinds of uh, you know, strategies that we need in order to make sure that we're creating good jobs and a strong middle class.